guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in if it's your first time on this channel please do make sure that you do subscribe like this video and comment below and if it's not your first time you definitely do know the do's of this channel like comment and share with your friends please also ask your friends to share with the other friends so that this family continues to grow Today in South Africa, we're celebrating Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there who are present in the lives of their daughters and sons. May God continue to bless you and grow you more and more in wisdom and strength to continue excelling in the department of fatherhood. Today's video is the part two of the video that I posted last week, which was about how to get your prayers be heard and answered by god so i actually thought of people who are just new in the christian journey or those who are interested to join the journey like accept jesus christ be the child of god but who just don't have clarity and understanding of some aspects that happen in the christianity which one of them is praying so i would like to actually do this video for those kind of people or perhaps if you do know christ already but you would like to improve your prayer life this video is definitely fitting for all of those people communication with god is very important because it builds and develops your relationship with God. It helps you to understand the heart of God because the more you pray, the more you spend time with God, the more you get to know God better and the more your relationship develops and strengthened, just like any other type of relationship that you can think of. Also communication is important because it gives you the platform to actually tell God about your struggles, about your challenges, ask him about anything that you would like him to help you with any kind of guidance and at the same time communication is very important for worship and praising god and one of the effective ways to actually um, communicate with god is through prayer hence i thought that it was very significant for me to do a video on how to pray the first important tip on how to pray is to pray in the name of Jesus. So I spoke about this aspect on last week's video. I emphasized it and gave the supporting scriptures regarding it. But on this case, it is very important to pray in the name of Jesus when you are a Christian, just so that you are specific to whom you're directing your prayers to. The second tip on how to pray is to pray using Luke chapter 11. So basically, Jesus Christ was in a certain place praying and one of his disciples came to him and said, Father, please teach us how to pray. And he said unto them, I will read that. When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the prayer that was suggested by Jesus Christ to his disciples. So I think that we can still use it even nowadays. And do not be afraid or scared or uncomfortable to use it again and again, like every day. Because the more you're praying using that prayer, the more you will have a deeper understanding of it, the more you will have deeper preparation about it. The third tip that I would suggest to you guys to use when you pray is ask the Holy Spirit to teach you how to pray. Like the disciples of Jesus Christ asked him on how to pray. And they even indicated to him, just like John taught his disciples on how to pray. So we also allowed to actually ask the Holy Spirit to teach us how to pray because Jesus Christ said that I shall not leave you alone but I shall send the Holy Spirit to you to teach you about everything lead you in all the truth so that means that the Holy Spirit can actually help us by teaching us how to pray the Word of God from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 says that when you pray pray in the spirit so i'd say that when you're praying just surrender yourself in the holy spirit allow the holy spirit to actually guide your prayer or your prayers so that you pray in alignment to what you ought to be praying for 
the word of god says that when we don't know what to pray for the holy spirit prays for us he prays guys on our behalf with groanings that cannot be answered in words so the holy spirit has experience in praying for us meaning that he knows how to pray and he knows how to pray for us the holy spirit remember he knows everything about us even the things that we don't know of so it is very safer and very great for us to actually ask him to teach us how to pray and to pray in him so that we can be able to touch even on the aspects that we don't get to touch on when we are praying the holy spirit will just lead us and then we will go with his flow the final tip guys on how to pray is prayer using the scriptures for instance if you want to pray about protection just look in the bible the scripture that talks about protection pray out loud using that scripture make declarations and that's it if for instance you just don't know where to start you can just type into the internet protection scriptures and then they will identify all those scriptures and show them to you and then you will choose the scripture that is relevant to you any kind of prayer item that you have you can always have a scripture that supports that prayer item in the in the bible and then it will improve your prayer life you will get some words on how to pray there you will get some words on how to praise god you know you will just develop and your prayer life will improve and improve and then you will get to be better and pray even without to those scriptures you can just make um um reference of them without even reading them at that time because right now you are familiar with it just take one step at a time just don't be um hard on yourself just don't be you know feel bad when you actually see other people even in church praying like for a longer period of time like prayer is not about the time that you pray for because other people they just have a problem with praying because of time they'd say that Ish, my prayer is always short i like i pray for two minutes whereas other people they pray for 30 minutes pray for one hour you know and then they panic because of that prayer is not about that at all and these are all my suggestions on how you can pray you must know that like prayer has no formula at all it has no equation prayer is influenced by how you feel by your interests by your i like um desires by your experiences by your environment you can get a lot of prayer items around your atmosphere there's many things that you, you could pray about see that like um you could even pray for people when you just don't know what to pray for you could pray for people you wouldn't tell me that everybody around your atmosphere is fine some people they are struggling with certain things in their lives you can pray for them father please help those people about this and that please help my friend she is struggling with this i believe that you can help her out of that you know there's always something to pray for you can like even every day when you wake up um you can just think how would you like your day to be like pray about that father i pray for your guidance on in this day i pray for your will i pray father that everything that i'm planning to do this way this day is possible i pray for your favor you know guys there's a lot of things that you could pray for right just don't limit your prayers um just don't you know compare your prayers to to people at all i hope that this video is going to be very useful for you guys and it will improve your lives and your prayer lives in general i love you all guys and thank you so much for keep on watching my videos and keep on recommending my videos i can see that the channel is growing keep on doing the hard work let us grow as a family let's support each other i love you all